this is Kopna Nyakun, the famous fish painter ever to live on the planet Earth. You're welcome to my studio. This is where I've been creating all the amazing, beautiful pictures and the water scenes and market scenes and the flat paintings and mangroves and other things. Before I started the fish painting, I was painting things like the um, the market scene, like the one we have behind here. This is how I started painting the market scenes. And these are all people. Every color you see in this work are figures. Every color is a figure. It's left just left with their heads that I'm going to fix. But they come together to form a larger picture. So you can see a seller. This is the head she's wearing green holding salt in a bowl selling so that's the way i paint my market scene and before the market scene and the flag i used to paint the mangrove this is the mangrove scene and it's actually an abstract of a mangrove bushes with a swamp and normally you have some residents in between the the mangroves um, and normally people will live uh, um, closer to the swampy areas in ghana and uh, the airways because they like fishing in, in the lagoon and they have residence and the mangroves and, mm -hmm. and alongside the swampy areas and before the fish also i did the barber the barber trees these are trees in the northern part of ghana and the northern part of ghana is very hot most of the year they have few rains in a year and um it's almost every day hot like you can see in the paint it's a very bright yellow color depicting the heat of the place and the barber tree is normally without leaves in most of the year in the northern part of Ghana and because they have big um, bags they can store water during the dry season and most of the activities activities you can see in the northern part of Ghana are people going to the farm, going to look for water because of their condition over there. For me to be here, I think it's going to serve as an example for the kids and the, and the youth here because um, I've been in the university and um, when they look up to me and what I'm doing, I think it will challenge them also to, to, to go to school and to learn something, you know, and I'm trying to discover people in the village here who are good in art and giving them a training. For now, I have four boys I'm training, two in this village and two from the church I attend. Basically, if I'm painting the fishes, the underwater scene is to let people know that there's this kind of beauty beyond the waters that we don't need to pollute. So I'm also preaching the ocean. So apart from painting the fish to make money, I'm also letting people to know that there's this kind of beauty in the waters that we need not to destroy. Um, for me, in terms of Ghana, I would like to see the government um, paying a lot of attention to the arts because um, um, most of the arts are depending on like their own incomes to set up or come up with galleries or infrastructures to put up shows and stuff and um, there are not enough public spaces built by government for artists to you know take advantage of or to showcase their works. Um, my hope for the company Cross Gallery is um, to become a great um, place of interest that people would like to showcase their artistic products from painting to sculpture, ceramics and whatever we have in the art and also to let the young artists to see the importance of 
the marketing of art and the value we need to place on it. Okay, welcome. This is where Cross Gallery is having its foundation. This is where the gallery is going to be. And it's um, going to have two studios in here and a gift shop. And the, the reception is going to be here. And the coffee shop is going to be the other end. And in there is going to be where the paintings are going to be exhibited.